I was heartbroken. I loved the club and wanted to play for Everton. And once I found that out, and I was just like devastated. I knew before, before the Euro, Euro 2004, mm. I knew that I was getting touted to other teams because Everton needed the money. Yeah. So I, I was, I was getting, well, certain people, individuals were going into other clubs saying, mm. "Would you take Wayne Rooney for thirty million?" And I know for a fact that the so, highest of the high of a, of a hierarchy of our club says to me, "You saved Everton Football Club yeah. with that move." So and I was, I was. I was heartbroken. I loved mm. the club and wanted to play for Everton. And once I found that out, and I was just like devastated. So I thought, do you know what? And to be honest, I would have left at some point. Of course, I would yeah. have to try and better myself and, and go and win trophies. But didn't I was devastated. So I just thought, no, what? Okay. Um, I was trying control. to get to push, push to go and play um, for Chelsea because Chelsea would offer the most money. So I said, like, you're not dictating where to go. Yeah. Um, I want to go to Manchester United. So it was less money for Everton, but um, that's where I wanted to play. I didn't want to go to London. I didn't want to go to Chelsea. Um, so I took some control back of it. And then I got told, well, the only way you're going to Man United is if you put a transfer request in. So yeah. I went into the... Uh, this is in Moise's office. So I went into the canteen. I read, I, Wayne Rooney, requested transfer from Everton Football Club. <laughs> what did you put that on? <laughs> Just a napkin or something. <laughs> <laughs> Walked back into Moise's office and said, there you go. Oh, so I felt like I got backed into a corner mm. to a certain extent, but that's football. And um, as fans, help. though, it was heartbreaking because I remember thinking everyone's put you out there and thought he wants to go with this and that. And it's only after being in Finch Farm, being around certain members of the hierarchy of the club, being around players, being around the staff that have been in that in that setup, Jimmy Martin, Sagey, all them people, coaches. It's medical staff and then getting told the story of lad you, you had no idea he was in tears didn't want to go yeah. anywhere I like come back it. i went to barbados after um euro 2004 so it broke me forth obviously mm. i went to barbados and i come back um to belfield was the time so come back to belfield um, and i was ready to go out and start running and step up my training from my broken foot and um I remember getting told no you can't do that i was like why Said because if your foot breaks down again, um, we won't be able to sell you. <laughs> so I was like, "What? What do we do here? What do you want me to do?" It's unbelievable. Isn't it? So um, they wouldn't let me um, actually do my rehab because in case my foot actually broke down again, and oh, nice. um, they couldn't get the money for me. So there's loads of, of stuff like that. But listen, yeah. um, it worked out for the it better. Worked in out the end. in the end, lads. BBC Sounds Music Radio Podcasts.